Very recently, I did a video where I talked about which DVDs, Blu-rays, manga, and whatever Dragon Ball products to buy. And one of the questions that kept coming up time and time again was why I buried the orange bricks. And a lot of fans, I guess, I thought maybe they knew, but I come to realize that some fans were not around when the orange bricks first came out. So maybe they don't know. So with this video, I want to talk about why the Dragon Ball Z orange bricks, for those who don't know, that's the seasons one through nine DVD sets, why there's so much garbage. And joining me on this video is a man who is no stranger to having extremely large anime collections in his house. Uh, Hail Zeon, hello. Hey guys. I don't have really, really anything other to say than, other than hey. Hey guys, it's Hail Zeon. Zeon. There you go. Make it real obnoxious. Yeah. So let's talk about the orange brick. So Dragon Ball is one of the most confusing animes of all time when it comes to figuring out what to buy for the home video market because Funimation has, let's be honest, uh, how can I put this? I like Funimation as a company. But when it comes to their their releases of Dragon Ball Z, it's pretty ridiculous to the point where they've actually flooded the market and created competition amongst itself and really created a, a huge level of uh, – what's the word? Of, uh, uh, I guess, confusion. I guess you could say marketplace confusion um, with their DVD releases. And – a lot of people were asking me, Zeon, about the Orange Bricks because I've never said anything good about the Orange Bricks and why they suck so bad. And a lot of fans are like, well, I have the Orange Bricks and they're perfectly fine. No, you they might be perfectly fine because that's what you're used to. But the Orange Bricks are, in fact, not only one of the worst releases, maybe the worst release ever when it comes to an anime from Funimation, home video-wise, but actually insulting in many ways. Yeah, definitely agree with you on that. Yeah, it's it, it, it's pretty bad. I mean, I don't even know where to really start with the orange bricks because there's just a lot that they got wrong with it. And I think it has a lot to do with, like, the time that it came out in. You know, everyone was getting, like, you know, 16 by 9 TVs. That was the new thing. People wanted their screens filled up because they're idiots and they don't understand that turning a 4 by 3 image to a 16 by 9 image crops the fucking image and cuts part of the image off. But they don't care because they just want to fill their TV. So, yeah, it, they made a lot of goddamn mistakes with this set. First off, like I said, the cropping issue. They cut off the tops and the bottoms. They extend the sides slightly, but they cut off the tops and the bottoms of the frame. Uh, so you're missing a good part of the image. The reason yeah. why this is important is because the people who are animating it, the people who are directing the series back then, frame the shots with the with the intent of having the top and bottom scenes. So there will be important information visible in the top and bottom frames of certain frames. And if you're cutting that off, sometimes you'll be missing things that you should be able to see on the top or bottom. Because it's just it, the shot wasn't framed to have the tops and bottoms cut off, at least yeah, not for the show. Just to add to what you're saying, Dragon Ball and a lot of 90s shows, uh, The Simpsons also, a lot of shows, uh, were shot in 4 by 3 aspect ratio, which is basically the square TV. But Funimation thought, hey, you know, why don't we crop it? Like, we can't just do what they did with what, what Toei did with Kai and reframe it frame by frame. No, they just chop the top and the bottom off. And like you said, Zeon, you're missing a big part of the image. You're, it's zoomed in and it looks, it looks bad. Yeah. And if you don't understand, like, what to look for, like, you may not notice that. If you don't know, like, how a shot's supposed to look. Because, I mean, if you go back and really pay attention to those releases, you can see, like, oh, top of this character's head is just completely cut off. Yes. Oh, like, you know, like, a kid character might not even be in frame when they should be. Like, maybe you see, like, the top of Gohan's hair because the rest of Gohan is cut off in the frame because, they, because of how they cropped it. You know, a lot of issues like that arise. Exactly, yeah. And it's a major problem that a lot of shows have suffered, but the thing with Dragon Ball is that, you know, a lot of fans just assume that, oh, well, it's supposed to be widescreen, or, oh, we're not missing anything. No, you are. You're watching it incorrectly. And if you have a problem with 4x3 aspect ratio, which some people do, you can just buy the, you know, or get the 4x3 and then just zoom in and you'll have it fill the screen. You'll be missing some image, but you can always unzoom it to see the image. But no, Funimation cut it off completely. The other problem with these uh, sets is that they pack too many episodes into each set so the frame rate's very low now for those who don't know Funimation's film masters are third generation film masters these are not first generation Pony Canyon Toei quality film masters they already look bad now Zeon I don't know if you noticed this but 
the, mm -hmm. if you have the orange bricks, or even if you don't, the series does tend to look better as it progresses because it becomes newer. Those early Dragon Ball Z episodes, for some weird reason, Funimation's masters like don't look too good um, at all. And so you get things like blurring, you get... Um, frames bleeding into each other it's overly saturated it's overly bright um it looks better in the later sets but it still looks really really bad like what they did was they promoted this this is what pisses me off about this whole release for those of you who don't weren't around back then they promoted this as being digitally remastered in high definition you can't have high definition on a dvd you can't the See, you, okay that okay. pissed me off and it still pisses me off Okay, technically, okay, they, they use marketing buzzwords with this, which is the exactly. problem. Because, like, you know, we, like, it's remastered in HD. Yes, they did make HD masters, and then they compressed it down to SD because it's on a DVD. Um, yeah, like, and there's a lot of issues because, you know, their original uh, remastering process, they upped the contrast a lot. Uh, they brightened the image a lot, so you, you have like a lot crap. of bleeding colors. Um like even though like maybe like you know your image might be brighter, there's a lot of uh, color degradation because of uh, one the generation of masters that they're using, and two the age of the film reel itself. You know this is cause like you know this is causes uh, image quality issues, which you know it isn't that terrible. Like I mean if you've ever seen the level sets, which they did a frame by frame retouch up of, it looks a lot better. It looks amazing in compare, especially in comparison to the uh, orange bricks. But for some reason, with the orange bricks, they just did a really slapdash job with it. They did that. They did um, noise reduction, which is removing film grain. And for those that don't understand uh, resolution uh, and uh, image quality, when you remove the film grain, you're basically removing the detail from the image. The film grain is inherent to the image quality. Yeah, you should it not a part get of rid of film. it. It's because it's old. It's supposed to look like yeah. that. Yeah, like 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 that. That is the natural texture of the film reel itself. Like, that is part of the film reel. Whenever you're removing that, you are also going to remove uh, uh, details from the image itself. Like, even, like, the new Blu-ray sets are an excellent example of that. If you look at those, you see that they've done um, a lot of heavy noise reduction. Yeah, there's almost no grain to it, but now the line works. The line work looks, like, kind of blurred and smeared. Like, someone just kind of, like, you know, took, like, like a smearing tool and kind of smoothed out, like, all the, the color and the edges. Yeah, and you're missing a lot of the black lines, but what they did was they put it through a process where it makes the black lines darker and too thick, so it looks like a Flash cartoon. That's one thing I've had yeah. an issue with with the Blu-rays. But nonetheless, those Blu-rays are still significantly better than the Orange Bricks. I mean, if anybody has any doubts, just Google Orange Brick Suck or Orange Brick Images, and you'll see some famous pictures of, like, Nappa, of Goku, where there are literally lines missing from their faces. You can see, like... You know, like a like it's it's so bright and like jarring and just looks like crap. Like it looks like just uh, it looks like a bootleg. And here's the messed up thing, Zion, uh -huh. is that when the orange bricks first came out, I rented one from Netflix back when Netflix was doing the mail order DVDs, which I think they still do. But back then there was no online Netflix; it was just mail order. And I remember putting this DVD in my DVD player, and I remember being shocked at just how absolutely shitty this freaking Dragon Ball Z looked. And it, I had bootlegs from Hong Kong that looked better. When you've got bootlegs that look better than the orange bricks and the official releases, that's a problem. In reality, folks, the only redeeming quality of the orange bricks is that they're cheap. That's it. That is it. Because mm -hmm. if you want the Falconer score, you can get that on the Blu-ray. If you want the correct colors, well, maybe not the correct color, but the correct quality. The correct colors are going to be in level sets, but they didn't complete those. And if you want the definitive version, you got the Dragon Boxes, but they're way too expensive. So people who are asking me, why do the orange bricks suck? This is why. And if you've watched the series with the orange bricks, you're not seeing the series to its full potential and full capacity. Yeah, I agree. It's, yeah, they, those sets were a horrible, horrible mistake. And unfortunately, it's just, and it, you have become, them, so you would know. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, by the way, for, for someone like who is shitting on these sets, the the season sets are what I own. I never bought the Dragon Boxes, so I'm not being like some sort of elitist dick waver about, oh, like I me. got the Dragon Boxes, I'm so much fucking better than you guys. No, like, I have the fucking shitty orange bricks. I am not a fan of the shitty orange bricks. 
Uh, the level sets were really good, but they never fucking completed those. Those I would recommend to anybody if they'd ever fucking got completed. Uh, what they did with the orange bricks was fucking terrible. And, you know, going back to the process that you were talking about, uh, about, you know, because the, the process that they put it through was supposed to remove things like like cigarette burns or hairs on the or frames tape, or things right? like that. You know, like, 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 like little things that were damaged in each, like, in frames, in individual frames. But because it was an automated process, you know, it would mistaken the black outlines of the, on the characters of the animation as, oh, like, that's not supposed to be there, as, you know, things that are wrong with it, like a cigarette burn or a hair or something. And that's why we kept losing those lines. And they didn't even start fixing that until, like, the last three seasons worth of box sets. Yeah, it was, yeah, though those box sets are a complete clusterfuck of quality. And, yeah, it's it's not easy to recommend them. It really isn't. I mean, like, if you just don't care, you just want to own Dragon Ball Z, you just want to sit down, you want to watch it, you really don't care that much about quality, by all means, you're entitled to enjoy Dragon Ball Z however way you, whatever way you want. But when other people come up and say, yeah, those are really shitty quality box sets, you're not, you don't get fucking offended because in comparison to what else is on the market, it is. You have the worst fucking edition. Even if you had the single volume releases of Dragon Ball Z, you would still be getting a better quality release than those boxes. Yeah, though, though, I mean, I hate to say it because I really want everybody to own the series the right way, but that is, it's definitely the worst release. It, it definitely is. It's like the, 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 the work that they put in to make it better actually wound up making it worse, as weird as that may sound. Yeah. It's, it's weird. I, I think it also has to be uh, has has to do with it being like a product of the times. Like Funimation was still a relatively smaller company back then. They weren't as prolific in the anime industry as they are now. They didn't have the resources that they have now. Absolutely. And yeah, like I think they just they did these box sets like five years too early. If they had just waited a while. Or, you know, just done well, the well, dragon and, boxes from the gate. Well, yeah, and then not to mention they also released, uh, they re-released a series over and over and over again. The Ultimate mm -hmm. Uncut Editions, the Blu-ray level sets, the other Blu-rays, the Kai Blu-rays, the Kai DVDs. And I know some people are going to say, oh, but D, um, Kai is not Z. Yeah, we know that, but what about a soccer mom? Like, what if you're like a soccer mom and you're a little boy and you're like, hey, buy me Dragon Ball Z. And, and your mom is like, okay, I'll get you Dragon Ball Z for Christmas. And she goes to Best Buy and she sees... Dragon Ball Z Kai, Dragon Ball Z Kai DVD, Dragon Ball Z Kai Blu-ray, Dragon Ball Z Orange Brick, Dragon Ball Z Dragon Boss, Dragon Ball Z Blu-ray, Dragon Ball Z uh, The Rock the Dragon set. And you're like, what the fuck? And then you look at the back episodes one through whatever, one through whatever. Wait, wait a minute, how many episode ones are there? That's the problem is that the casual audience had no idea, but luckily now as Dragon Ball fans, we know. So there you go. Yeah. Anyway, thank you, Xeon, for being on. Nobody knows more about subscribing, or sorry, subscribing. Nobody knows more about anime than Xeon. Let's go subscribe to him so that he can get enough money to buy the Dragon Boxes and live happily ever after. And that would be a good, a good little gift to Xeon. Watch his video so he gets paid so he can buy the fucking overpriced Dragon Boxes. And all of you should also try to get the Dragon Boxes. But if they are out of your price range, which let's be honest, they probably are because they're like 200 bucks, um, sometimes less if you can find a good deal, then the only other option is the new Blu-rays. They're, they, they're not as bad as the orange bricks, but they're also not as um, not that great. But that's all we got. So let's let's work with it. Fuck the orange bricks. <laughs>